Much love and total respect, my royalty Israelite kings and queens. Allow me to read the last paragraph again from my previous video, all right? On March 27, 1836, Joseph Smith dedicated the temple amidst a Pentecostal outpouring of the Spirit. A week later, on April 3, 1836, some of the most significant events in religious history occurred. The, our Messiah, Isa, appeared to Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowell in the temple, declaring, I have accepted this house, and my name shall be here. So you know the name was Isa, all right? He said it out of his own mouth. My name shall be here, and his name is Isa. Not so funky ass Jesus Christ. Throw that white man crap in the garbage, okay? Why you while you at it, throw his ass with it, okay? And I will manifest myself to my people in mercy in this house. Check out Doctrine and Covenant, chapter 110, verse 7. All right, three messengers from Old Testament disposition. Moses. Elijah and Elijah also appeared to our prophet Joseph Smith, okay? They restored priesthood keys and authority loan lost to the earth. And the reason it was loan lost to the earth, people, because for 1,260 days, the father had turned a black guy to us, okay? He wasn't here, all right? There was no word up on the earth, okay? Go look it up for yourself, all right? I ain't got time for all that. But you go look it up, okay? And you're going to find what I say you're going to find, all right? You need some help? Let me know. I'll send you where to go, all right? The prophet Joseph Smith now had the authority to gather Israel, okay? Us. He had the authority to gather us Israelites from the four parts of the earth and to seal families together for the time in all eternity. See Doctor and Covenant, chapter 110, verses 11 through 16. This restoration of the priesthood keys followed the Lord our Father endless pattern of giving to the prophet, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. So he gave this to our prophets, okay? Line up on line, precept up on precept, here a little and there a little. Okay, my people? Read Doctrine and Covenant, chapter 128, verse 21. Unto the fullness of our Esau's gospel was restored to the earth. Okay? Unto the fullness of our Messiah. And our father endless, okay? Gospel was restored to the earth, okay? Doctrines such as belief in the Book of Mormon, new revelations, and the gathering of Zion. And they resented Latter-day Saints for trading primarily among themselves. So you see, my people, we didn't really mess with those no good skanks. We dealt with each other, okay? The 12 tribes dealt with the 12 tribes. We weren't going outside of our tribes, messing around with those old snakes and geeses and pieces and tosses, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Fill in the blanks, all right? Mobs and the local militants soon began harassing the saints. And in November 1833, drove them from Jackson County. Most of the saints fled north across the Missouri River into Clay County, Missouri. So you see what they did? Those bastards was always up my ass like a tampon. Okay, get out my ass. I don't use tampons, all right? <laughs> I don't care what y'all ass say. My father said I can speak the way I want to speak. I speak with authority and with power. You don't like it, don't come to this channel because I told you in the beginning, this channel is for the selected few. 
Because you best believe, we know those damn words don't mean shit. They're just damn stupid words that the white man done taught your dumb ass. Okay, grow up. Stop being a damn wolf and stay out of my shit. Because, you know, you fucking with the wrong one. I ain't even playing with y'all ass. I know my files will work for me. Okay, I know. I hit those knees and I ask for anything. I'm going to get it. So you got to leave me fill in the blank. A lot. A lot. Joseph Smith was deeply concerned about the plot of about the plot of the Missouri Saints. In August 1833, he wrote from Kirkland to the church leader in Missouri, Brethren, if I were with you, I should take an active part in your suffering. So he knew they were suffering. They was beating our people, raping our people, killing our people, doing all kinds of heinous shit to our people. And you think I'm going to call that motherfucker a brother? Are you crazy? That's my enemy only. All right? Now the rest of y'all can be boo-boo the fool talking about you can be drafted in. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. They not going to be drafted in. So you can blow that smoke somewhere else and stop blowing it up everybody's ass because it's not going to happen. Did you hear me? It's not going to happen. They going to pay for the shit they did, all of them, as a nation. And what's left of those rats are going to be slaves after that for a thousand years. Then they will be exterminated. Okay, that's what my father said. So y'all don't like it? Take it up with him. I'm so sick of you damn people always trying to save your enemy, but you stumping on your brother and sister. You better get out my face with that. I ain't got no time for you people today, okay? I ain't had enough of y'all dummy, dumb, dumb ass. Okay, fill in the blank. Yet my spirit would not let me forsake you unto death. Our father endless helping me. Oh, be of good cheer, for our redemption draweth near. Oh, my father endless, say my brethren in Zion. Did you hear what he said? So all of Missouri is the holy Jerusalem. How many times do we have to tell y'all ass that? Now stop acting like baboons and Open up your brain cell, your consciousness, people. You are great people. Let it flow in. So out all that shit, those Edomites stuffed up in there. If you like me, you, you go back and stuff it right up their ass. That's what they need. Get out of my face. Can't say two words to me without me slapping them on the side of their face. Because I'm not playing with these things. Three-fifths of a whatever they are. In February 1834, Joseph Smith received a revelation directing him to lead an expedition from Kirtland to Missouri to assist the suffering saints and help restore them to their land in Jackson County. You see, they stole everything, you damn devil. So you want to hold my hand in the end? No, you can kiss my ass in the end. That's what you can do. All right. See Dr. Ren Coven, chapter 103. In response to the Lord, our Father's endless command, the prophet organized a group called Zion Camp for the march to Missouri. In May and June of 1834, the group, which eventually included more than 200 members, made its way westward across Ohio, Indiana, Illinois and Missouri. You hear that? They made their way westward. So when he said the Zion is going to be in the west, he was talking about Missouri, okay? He wasn't talking about no stinky Arizona, Utah, all that crap. Blow that out the wind. You people making me mad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They were beset by many difficulties, including an outbreak of Kalalia. Okay? So they had an outbreak of Kalalia among them. Some shit those honkies stole up in the air. So they what? You know it was those no good devils. Oh my goodness. And you want to hold their hand and sing Kambaya? Y'all miss me with that. 
They ain't nothing but demons. Okay? On June 22, 1834, when the expedition neared Jackson County, the prophet received a revelation disbanding the camp. However, the Lord, our Father Endless, promised that Zion would be redeemed in his own time. So he getting ready to he is getting ready to redeem Zion. So get your ass off our land, okay? You can go by yourself or you can get some damn help from him because you're going to get off that land. Y'all making me sick with y'all stupid stuff, okay? See Doctor and Covenant, chapter 105, verse 9 through 14. After, organize, after organizing a stake in Clay County with David Whitmer as president, the prophet returned to Ohio. Although Zion's camp did not recover the properties of the saints, okay? They stolen property was not recovered from you damn skanks. And you think y'all not going to pay us? Oh, you all pay us with your damn life, okay? You took ours, and our father is about to take yours. All right? I ain't got no damn sympathy or remorse for your ass. Did you have any for my, my ancestors when you was ripping those babies out their stomach? When you was feeding our babies to alligators? Did you have any goddamn remorse? No, you didn't. So I don't have none for you, okay? And you don't like it. Take it up with my father. All right? It provided invaluable training for future leaders of the church. For the, for the participants, learned the principles of righteous leadership from the example and teachings of the prophet, Prophet Joseph Smith, Jr. In a meeting of the members of Zion Camp and other church members held in Kirtman on February 14, 1835, the prophet organized the quorum of the Twelve Apostles. Two weeks later, he organized a quorum of the 70 shepherds, okay? Nine of the members of the quorum of the 12 and all of the members of the quorum of the 70 shepherds had been part of Zion's camp, okay? Settlement in northern Missouri. Large number of church members continued to live in Clay County, Missouri, until 1836, when the residents of that county said they could no longer provide a place of refugee. You see, you damn demons never stop. Y'all just never stop. But you're about to stop now, because you don't have no damn choice. You demons, you eat on my skate, mobile by skate. Ammonite skanks, all of you damn Gentiles and heathen skanks. Let this serve as a wake-up call to your ass. Talking about you going to plead to us. Not until you go through your punishment. Who the hell you think you are? You get a pass? Did we get a pass? No, we did not. And neither shall you. And I don't care who keep telling your ass to plead. They ass soon ain't going to have a pass they stop if they don't straighten their ass up. They on the wrong damn path. Now is not the time to clean. Because you have not went through your punishment, nor have you suffered through your judgment. So how the hell you getting a pass? Use your damn two cents of a brain, three-fifths of whatever you are. <laughs> Y'all be killing me with the stupidity, all right? The saints, therefore, began moving into northern Missouri, most of them settling in Caldwell County, a new county organized by the state legislature to accommodate the displacement Latter-day Saints. After you displace them, you bastards. Ooh, y'all making me sick. In 1838, they were joined it by a large body of saints who had been forced to abandon Kirtland. The prophet and his family arrived at March in Far West, the thriving Latter-day Saint settlement in Caldwell County, and established church headquarters there. In April, the Lord our Father Endless directed Joseph Smith to build a temple in Far West. You hear that, my people? 